He's going to have his hands full, though. It's a low getting things started, and he was just looking so rabid in the lead up, lead up to this heat. Rich, uh, we saw him prepping, and he just looks so amped. He is just uh, pacing back and forth. So we see Jacko on, on his opening right here. Good start. Nice energy, slashing and burning all through these tight little sections. And uh, I caught up with Jacko about half an hour before this heat paddled out. And, mate, he was absolutely twitching to get a... To get a uh, Surfboard has been in the cryogenic freeze chamber as we see Italo taking off here. Yeah, Italo, like Rich said, was just pacing like a, a cage lion out there in the lineup now. We'll see if he can keep some composure on this ride. He does very well to finish this wave off, and, and I guess that's been the key, Rich, to Italo. As we see Italo's uh, third here, I, I think with uh, Italo's positioning, something needs to be noted of. He's actually about 150 metres or maybe even further away from the regular takeoff position that we've seen. and. What he's simply utilising here is a steeper wave. This wave's a lot shorter, but there's actually more critical section on this shore. And if you're as fast as Italo, that's where you're sitting. Be hearing those sevens and, and fives dropping, and he hasn't yet to put a good, uh, a good score on the board. So Italo up and riding now. Well, you can see the speed. It's almost unrivaled on the championship tour and Italo just swings that board into two very dynamic turns to finish that wave off just it leads needs such little space to get those major maneuvers on the board I think he might have got out of jail here with Italo not quite riding out of that last turn but as you can see like the sections that he's getting wow that's so dynamic in such a short space down crowd Philippa Anderson we lost pretty early on in the, the women's event obviously she had a tough draw with Carissa Moore but on the men's side, we've seen Julian progress. He's obviously living here in Newcastle. It's a low, finishing off that air reverse right there on the shore break. The crowd will be eating that up. But Julian, uh, Morgan, he, he caused the biggest upset of the event so far. Ryan Callanan progressing through. Jackson's going to have an opportunity here. It's a low, just continues to chip away here. 17 waves he rode in his last heat. And the wave count's coming up a little bit too in this one. Well, as we mentioned, you know, he has the ability to go left at that little break right out in front. Just there wasn't enough of those really critical pocket turns, but this one will count. He's got another opportunity here. He didn't get the score, and that's a good start. And ripping him once again, you can see how much he's putting to each of these manoeuvres. Plenty of body talk. Whipping that board as hard as he can, and a solid finish on the inside. There's that reliability we were talking about when it comes to performing with the jersey. Really asking the crowd to get behind him, and here goes Italo with the, with the counter punch. Yeah, Italo. Always swinging that tail around and right to the point of release. And he gets a bit of a combo rolling through to the inside here. Now it's a bit of fun with it. Kicking a little shove at, little burial there on the inside. And he'll step off onto the sand. 45 seconds to go. And this one is just flowing by. It's low, staying very busy once again. 6.51 required for Jackson. What are your thoughts here, Rich? And we've just seen the scores come through for him. And not quite enough. And it's low. He's excited and he's happy to survive what was, in the end, a pretty close heat against Jackson Baker. We'll be back in a moment.